It's the spooky season, and that means it's the perfect time to scream your head off at some of the horror, thriller, or suspense television series out there. Hi, I am L of MCTV, and you're watching the first ever episode of Series. Maybe at this point of quarantine, we may not think of anything to do already since we've been stuck for over a year now. And you might be looking for a series to binge watch. But hey, don't you worry because MCTV got you covered. But oops, before we head into the records, I just want to put a disclaimer that the following series that will be recommended may consist of sexual, brutal, and violent scenes. And if you find discomfort with these kinds of scenes, please think about it carefully before digging into it. So watch at your own risk. Now, grab your popcorn and rub yourself with your blankets because we're hopping on to my spooky and thrilling recommendations. The first recommendation on the list is Black Mirror. This dark and twisted TV show is a contemporary British anthology series that explores the diversity of genres that consist of speculative fiction and it looks out on modern society and the consequences of new technologies. Black Mirror tackles different facets in our society through metaphors. That's why it requires us to really think deeply in order for us to unleash the message per episode. I recommend this series because it does not only seek to entertain its viewers, but also to show us the near future possibilities and to give us a bigger picture of how technology changes who we are and how it harms our society. The next series is all over the internet and that is the trending Squid Game. Squid Game is a Korean drama series with a plot that follows a deadly game theme. In this series, there are 456 players who were invited to participate in the game and those players are the ones who struggle financially. All they have to do is to compete in 6 traditional childhood games, but each game has a deadly twist. One big lesson I learned in Squid Game is kindness ripples unforeseen blessings. Third on the list is Stranger Things. It is a series that takes place in 1983 where four kids engage in the chilling adventures and mysteries of their town, Hawkins. As the series dive into dreadful events, it shows us how facing our fears can be a door to learning and gaining huge insights about yourself. Facing the horrors of your life can awaken the underlying strength that you possess that can be a mighty sword to every conflict you might face. Next is Alice in Borderland. Alice in Borderland is based on a Japanese manga and it is a science fiction suspense thriller drama. The main character here is named Arisu and he is fond of playing video games. One day, Arisu and his friends went to Tokyo and everyone just disappeared. They found themselves lost in the borderland and the only way to survive is to play dangerous games which require mental and physical activities. This would be The Haunting of Hill House. This series is an American supernatural horror drama television series that will both make you cry from its compelling story and be pants in fear at the same time. The plot alternates between two timelines. First is the present, with five adult siblings who are haunted by paranormal experiences at the Hill House. And the second timeline is flashbacks depicting events from an eventful night in 1992 when the family fled from the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's the end of the October episode of MCTV series. I hope you enjoyed the spooks, the chills, and the horror to fill this spooky season. Please keep in touch with us and follow MCTV socials at Miriam College Television on Instagram, Miriam College Television on Facebook, and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Miriam College Television as well. Don't forget here on MCTV. We got you covered. You covered. Thank mm-hmm. you.